hot. Oh, I put noodles down. My videos have been sparse and few in number, entirely my fault, and I will tell you why. Okay, so summertime, holidays, all jolly, all cool. I, for one, get really, really bored. I am like, it's not even bored, it's laziness. I can't be bothered to go out and do things that I know I'll enjoy because I'm lazy. This is probably due to the late nights and the late mornings that I, I go to bed really late and I wake up really late. Most of the day's gone, you know, nothing really to do. So videos have been slow and few, actually, I've been making no videos because of that reason. But I don't get the idea of getting dressed to make a video. Because when I'm indoors and I've not got anything planned, I will just stay in my pyjamas. And I think, if I make a video, then I'm just getting changed for that. And then after that, I do either one of two. The first one is sit in my clothes and cry silently to myself because I have nothing else to do after I've made this lovely video. I'm dressed and everything, all pretty, nowhere to go. And the second option is to, to get changed out of those clothes and put my pyjamas back on. And I find that more depressing than the first option. I do exactly the same thing as the first option, just in my pyjamas and it just makes me really sad to be honest. Even though I haven't been making any videos, I have been planning, okay, I've got loads. And the first one that I've decided to actually just go and film is my one about college. My thoughts about college, okay, so, after the summer, I'll be going into year 11. I don't know what grade that is in American terms or anything, but yeah, year 11, um, that means I'm almost 16, so I don't know, yeah. So pretty much as soon as I go back to school, um, I'll be like 16 in a matter of days. If you're from a different place and you're watching this, try and judge what year or grade or whatever I'd be in. Before the summer holiday, I went to a college opening sort of experience day, and I just went to one I was uh, went to a college I was interested in going to and just got a bit of insight in what I'd be doing if I took this course and stuff like that for those of you who don't know I am really interested in becoming a sort of uh, being in the veterinary practice so I want to be a veterinary nurse and so that's like nursing but for animals um, I don't really when people say oh so you want to be a vet I don't really want don't really say yes because to me vet means the actual um, doctor for the animals and I don't really want to be that I did but then I changed my mind I just want to be the nurse so that's more on the side of looking after the animals sort of giving them giving them like uh, injections and stuff but it's not as experienced as becoming a vet if I do good at everything in that if I do take that route anyway then you know, I'll definitely go and um, up my grades and sort of go be the best I can be really. I went to this opening experience day with Chloe and my mum and Chloe's mum Debbie and it was really good actually. We sort of, we went together and we was planning to like stay together but we ended up splitting up. She went to see her um, um, and then I went all the way up the stairs to um, the veterinary section. So that's like all the animal science and stuff. So there, speaking to the lady, I can't remember her name, but she was so helpful. My original plans, um, which I put, like, I wrote down and everything, I found out was the long-winded route and was probably not even worth doing um, to get to this easier plan, which was there, it was quicker, and I wouldn't be wasting my time. So the original plan, so if my science GCSE grades weren't very great, I was going to go to college and do A levels. I think A levels. I'm still a bit clueless to what A levels and all that mean. But I think A levels is where you can take things like you would at school. So like at secondary school, you can put things together. Um, but yeah. So I was going to study English, um, literature, biology, and art. I don't know what kind of art I would have done, but yeah. And then I would have gone on to do my year in animal care and then the two years in animal management um, and if I did get good results in my science or uh, if I did get good results in my science I would have just gone straight to the animal care and then the animal management but then when I was there at the college I found out that if I take A-levels and stuff because animal management which is the two year course 
is represents an A level or three A levels or something. I would have had to paid to do an extra A level sort of thing. So it was best for me to just go straight into um, animal management, the two year course. I found out also I have to have uh, five GCSEs at a C level and above. I think it's five. I'm just trying to remember this off the top of my head. So if I'm wrong, ah, sorry. But I have to have five GCSE levels at C level and above um, to go straight to the animal management which is the two year course and I found out it doesn't have to be science, English and maths, it can be anything obviously they it, they prefer the science, English and maths but it can be art, it can be history it can be like any of your chosen subjects so I was really a bit chuffed to hear that, I was a bit more calm you know, it's like good, okay so if you're expecting more G's and stuff then go then um, you've got to get G's and D's for to go into the animal care so that's more of the lower thing I was I would prefer to work my way up but because I'm kind of um, I'm being told to expect like C's and stuff and maybe a few D's but um, a bit higher like C's and B's really um, I should go in for the animal management straight so that's what I'm going, that's what I'm doing now, I'm going for the animal management. I'm sorry if none of that made any sense at all, probably just babble to most people and myself when I watch over this video, but yeah. So that, that lady, the animal care representative really helped me in my decision, so I think now I'm going to go straight into animal management, the two year course, and either go to university or find a job, because that course you can find a job just with that. Hello Alex. The actual thought of college is really daunting on me now. I mean, I've only got practically about nine months until I leave school when I come back in September because year 11 is not a full year and I still have, I feel like I've got so much stuff to do, like so much work to finish and I don't know. I know I'm already failing that with one of my subjects, possibly two, and I don't know, the thought of going to college and being left to my own devices to, to get on and do what I want, because at school you practically, I know at my school, you practically spoon fed everything, like if you don't do your homework, you're hounded on, you are you are made to do it, you get detentions until you do it, you, you're you properly like coached, you have to do it, you have to do it, otherwise you'll face, like you'll get in trouble, but at college it seems it seems like if you don't do your homework that's your own problem it's your responsibility you have to do it no one's going to be on your case all the time you know you have to do it yourself if you if you don't do it you'll face the consequences you'll go down and nobody's going to be there to catch you you know whilst you're falling nobody's going to be there you've got to do that on your own you've got to have your own responsibility and at school they do sort of teach you that but in a more in, in small proportions like like I said, they spoon feed you. They they help you and they f push you into doing the best you can. College, I think you still get that same you know, help, but you know, it's not like school. Is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's not like school, and that thought really worries me because I hate independent working. I really do. I like to like, come together, hear other people's ideas, share, and making myself. I feel like it just you know pushes you further as you grow to learn how other people think and do you know what I mean I'm more of that sort of person I hate independent study I really hate it because then I feel I look over around the classroom and I'm thinking oh my god they all know what they're doing what if I don't know what I'm doing well in most cases I do know what I'm doing I just get a bit worried the thought of that in college just really frightens me because <laughs> it's just one step closer to like being an adult really isn't it you're practically an adult in college but it's one step closer to the job you know, the house, everything, and that's scaring me a bit. <laughs> oh god. I hope I'm not worrying anybody else with this video. I really hope I'm not. I'm just trying to share with my thoughts on going to college. I mean, I've still got a bit of time left, but you know, in actual fact, turn around. It's time to leave school, it's time to go to college. And that's another thing. Just, it, up until year nine, I always thought that you'd automatically go to college
just like when you put in your school options, your secondary school options down, you think, okay, if I don't go to that, if I don't get accepted in that one, I'll just, you know, there's another one for me to go to and stuff. But I feel like in college, people, like the colleges may not accept you. And that really, really worries me. Because I don't know what I'm going to do if I, if I don't go to college. I know you can get apprenticeships and stuff, but I really don't want an apprenticeship right now. I just oh god as you can see i worry about a lot of things and i don't know how i'm gonna cope as an adult